Welcome to today's Crafts at Home with Colleen and I'm going to be showing you how to decoupage onto a terracotta pot using a serviette. You will see on my pot that I've actually gone ahead and painted an area white so that um, it will actually allow my serviette picture to hold up. If we have a look at a serviette you'll see that it's got several different layers. This particular one has got three different layers and I really just want to be able to use the top layer which is very thin so I don't want this brown showing through the picture and if I have a white background that's going to alleviate that. If you wanted to put the design on both sides of the pot one nice thing to do is to use a rubber band just to demarcate so if you stretch a rubber band over your pot you can measure from the outside edge to the center and then you'll know that you've actually got it equidistant so I could do the same design on this side of the pot. So just to begin with I've taken my serviette um, and I've cut out an area where I wanted to use my picture and the next thing I'm going to do now is to take away these two back layers so that I'm actually able to just use the one that has the design on it itself. Then I'm going to, oh sorry I just wanted to mention to you that the paint I used on the terracotta pot is acrylic paint and you could use a craft paint as well or a water-based emulsion that you would use on the wall. So I'm going to use my fingers just to hold this in position. I'm going to glue it down with podge. Now because your serviette is so thin there's no need to actually put any glue of any sort underneath because it's just going to go right the way through and you do need to work fairly quickly to get it down otherwise you're going to find it um, wrinkles quite a lot. So to start with I'm just going to brush really really quickly from the one side you can see it starts to wrinkle that's just because the paper gets wet that's quite normal and if you have a bad wrinkle rather just let it be. Okay so I've got half done I'm going to quickly go to the other side turn my pot a little bit so that it makes it easier to work. Always be comfortable when you're working, that's the most important thing. And as the pot starts to taper, if you've got a really big design, you might find that you get a little pleat or a fold, but don't worry about that. Okay, so now that I've got my design secured on it, I want to just evenly spread the pot so I don't have any lines like that. And that is it. How easy. Um, you want to leave this to dry at room temperature. Don't be tempted to go and put a hairdryer on it at this stage because it's an acrylic based product, the podge, and it doesn't like to have direct heat on when it's still very wet. If it was nearly dry and you wanted to actually put it on, it would be absolutely fine. Once you've finished with this and you've allowed it to dry, the next thing that you can do if you intend to put a plant inside is to put a varnish on the inside of your pot and the outside so that your design is protected because otherwise what's going to happen is the minute you start watering it's going to push the design off. What I would prefer to do in a situation like this would be to take a plastic flower pot put it on the inside here and just leave this as is. So this is what you have when you do serviette decoupage and it's a really really easy um, craft to do. Wonderful to be able to make some slips or to pot up a little pot of flowers for a friend for a birthday or just for your own garden. You could also use it if you were going to do some entertaining to put all your knives and forks in so you could take it outside for a picnic. Anyway I hope you've enjoyed that. Quick and easy to do and lots of fun and low cost. See you in the next one. Bye!